Hello YouTube. Hopefully <laughs> this video will work out. Just to let you know, I just recorded a video where I uh, talked about the new S15 Gen 2 uh, magazine that I purchased and why I purchased it and went into all this information about that and gave some background. And un I opened this up, opened the package because I just got one in and I hadn't even opened it yet. And I was waiting to open it on video and test it out and I did and I saved the video and then went back to watch it and it was in high speed and there was no sound and I have no idea why I did that because I set the camera to, which is just I'm just using my iPhone uh, you can tell this is very professionally produced right but you know, a little tripod with a iPhone on it that's all I got but anyway uh, it I, I couldn't figure out how to make it go regular speed and have sound. So I'm gonna have to redo this and you'll just have to take my word that this just came out of the package. I have, um, what it, the reason I'm doing this video is because on a previous video that many of you have seen, I uh, talked about the purchase of my Glock 48 and how I retired from 28 years carrying a Glock 19 on the job and wanted to carry something smaller and slimmer and pick this Glock 48 MOS, um, which is my first experience with a red dot as well. But I liked the form factor of this. I liked it being thinner. I liked it otherwise being the same size as my 19, same length, the same height, but, but it's empty guys. But, um, but I didn't, you know, I liked the thinness and the, how much lighter it was. Of course, the standard Glock mags only hold 10 that come with it, but Shield Arms puts out this S15 magazine that holds 15, uh, same as the, the, my Glock 19 held. And I thought, well, that's, that's pretty cool. I can carry a smaller, lighter pistol with the same number of rounds in it, and it's the same functioning as what I've been used to. And I own, I own several other Glock pistols, and I'm just used to the way they operate and the feel in my hand, and I just wanted to stay with the Glock. So, bought the. I actually got the S15 magazines before I received the pistol. Had to order the pistol and wait for a, two or three months, I think, to actually receive it. And I was able to get these um, magazines quicker. So the magazines were waiting for the pistol when the pistol came in, as was the Swamp Fox Red Dot. People have asked me about this Red Dot. Apparently, some folks have had issues with the uh, refresh rate on it. I... Uh, I only have experience with this red dot and so I don't know if other red dots work better than this one does or not I wish I did anybody want to send me another red dot to test out I'll be happy to and compare it to this one but I don't have it and I'm not buying another one right now so and and the red dots for these MOS is just to be clear um, they're smaller they're thinner than uh, the red dots that go on the, uh, the full-size pistols so there's fewer manufacturers making them. There's fewer of them out there. Uh, they were harder to find, but I bought this one months ago and, and uh, had it and it fits perfectly. Don't ha didn't have any issues. It's very simple to put on the pistol. Still getting used to it. Don't actually like red dots yet <laughs> as much as I hope they would. I'm still, after you know using iron sights for so long, it's just hard for an old guy like me to get used to something new. And But I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm gonna go to range again next week and I uh, keep trying to get better on it. Um, so that's the situation on that. But when I received these shield arms, when I tried to test out these shield arm magazines, I found a couple of issues I did not care for. Um, I installed the, I, I did put in a shield arms magazine release. They sell their own magazine release that's, that's metal, although it, honestly, I can't even tell that it's metal when I put it in, but they tell me it is. And, and uh, because these magazines are metal where the Glock are plastic and the Glock magazine release is plastic. And they said these metal magazines would eventually wear that release out and this would just be much better. So I put in their Shield Arms magazine release, put in the, the Shield Arms magazines, empty mag. And one issue I had with them is they're extremely difficult for me to load 15 rounds in. I mean almost impossible. I, I, I did it on the other video. I was sit, I sat here and I tried and I got 14 rounds eventually 
in in the Shield Arms magazine. People tell me that you just keep you breaking them in, or you load them up and you let them sit, and the and the spring will loosen up and it will get easier. That sounds reasonable to me. I haven't really tried it yet. And they've also told me there's some fixes on YouTube uh, to to take care of the problem for, for these Gen One. But these are Gen One. These are early Shield mags. I bought them. I don't remember, but it, when they were fairly new out, and uh, and apparently they have made some changes and have shipped out now Gen Two mags, and which so I ordered a Shield Arms Gen Two. It says Gen Two patent pending right on the bag, and uh, there's this one has I was able to get 14 rounds in it. So anyway, uh, I could try some of the fixes, I suppose, but but I thought I would just start out with um, trying the Gen 2 and seeing if the Gen 2s work from the factory as I advertised. And when I opened up the package and took the Gen 2 out, um, you see the follower is gray and the follower on the Gen 1s is orange. I like an orange follower, it's nice to see but at least with this one being gray, it'll be easy to tell that that's a Gen 2 and this is a Gen 1. And this is what I bought two Gen 1s at the same time. This also is a Gen 1. I have 14 rounds in this one and I'm letting it sit, see if it'll get easier. It was it was hard to get 14 in there. Um, so let me just demonstrate the issue I was having. Put in empty magazine, put it in. It locks back like it's supposed to. It slides forward like it's supposed to. If there was ammo in there, it would load it. it they functioned that way reliable, reliably. But when I went to eject the magazine, I don't know if you can see that, but it just comes out just a tiny bit. Did you hear that click back in? You have to reach up and pull it out. Here's the difference. Here's the Glock mag. Functions fine. It's in there. See how I press the magazine release and it, it shoots that sucker up, just like that. That's what I want. Uh, it's how I've been training for all these years. Ammo, when you run out of ammo in a magazine, it's just muscle memory. Pop that sucker out and I'm loading another one. I don't want to have to reach, I don't want to have to hit the release, reach up there and grab it out and then get another magazine. I don't want to do that. It's not, shouldn't be necessary. So let's try this one. This is the Gen 2. She tried out. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm wanting. Now, I did try to load uh, 15 rounds of that magazine. Got really hard. Uh, I got 14 in. I couldn't get the 15th one in, just like on the Gen 1s. But again, I will uh, keep, I will load it back up with 14 again and put it in the safe and hopefully that will break in and when I take to the range next week, it will be easier. I only ordered one of these because I wasn't sure if it would work or not. And and uh, ordering just this one with shipping and handling was $48, I think. Uh, of course, I'm sure it would have been cheaper per magazine for the shipping and handling if I bought more than one at, at, at one time. But I don't want to buy more than one if I wasn't confident it would work. I'm gonna take this to the range next week, give it a try if it works. Um, and I think, it, I mean, the other one functioned fine. So I'm fairly confident this will too. Then I can order some more. Uh, and I may try to do the mods on these. I, we'll see. It, 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 even if I don't carry them, I can do the mods on them and use them at the range. Um, if, I, if I become conf confident in them, I can start carrying them. Right now, the only things I'm actually confident in are the 10 round Glock magazines, you know, which is also what my Glock 26 holds 10 rounds. It's a much shorter magazine. The issue I have with that is with my hands, when I, uh, it's, since it's a shorter pistol, I don't have any trouble shooting it with a shorter grip on it. But when I hit the magazine release, my hand hits the plate, the bottom plate of the, of the magazine, and it it doesn't always drop. Sometimes my hand prevents it from dropping. That doesn't happen on pistol with this length of grip. Um, 
But I, but the nice thing about the 26 is I've got some 19 magazines and I can carry them. And if I had to reload, I'm reloading with a 15 round magazine from the 19. I can carry it with a 15 round magazine from the 19 if I choose to, I generally don't, but I could. So I've been fine with carrying a 10 round magazine in my pistol for off duty for a long, long time. But I just wanted to carry 15 if, if, if it was just as easy and convenient. And I think it would be. I, I don't know how shield arms, I I, they must have magic physics to get 15 rounds, theoretically. I've seen people do it on YouTube, so I know you can. I've not gotten 15. The most I've gotten is 14. But I know you can because um, I've seen it. And I'm sure I will eventually as these springs break in. I'm a little bit... Uh, Surprised that other people just take them right out of the package and seem to not have any trouble loading them with 15. Maybe I got to work on some grip strength. I don't. I don't know. I didn't think my grip was weak, but maybe, maybe it's, it is. Um, but I don't have any trouble getting 10 of these. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back next week and uh, let you know how it went at the range. I video it at the range, except I go to a public range and I'm not setting up a tripod and trying to record myself with. 10 other people shooting at the range. It, it just, I'm not going to do it. Um, uh, it's, I'm self-conscious enough sitting here and talking to you guys, much less trying to be, you know, on, on the range demonstrating this stuff. Maybe I'll get comfortable with that one day and maybe I'll find a, a range where I can do that kind of thing if, if uh, these videos uh, are helpful to people. But anyway, y'all have a great day. Uh, stay well. I've had strep throat last week. And, uh, and I'm over, I took the medicine, I'm over the strep throat, but I've had a cough for weeks. I think it's just allergies, maybe even just a cold. I don't know, I'm clogged up, got a gravelly voice. But, you know, in the day of COVID, I don't even want to be out in public when I'm coughing and all because everybody look at you like you got COVID or something. And I don't blame them because if I'm out in public and I hear this guy, <laughs> you know, I look at him and go, why don't you go home, buddy? You don't need to be out. So I haven't been going a lot of places. But hopefully the cough's getting better. I haven't coughed during this video, so that's been good. I couldn't have done this a couple of days ago without coughing all through the video. So progress, right? Progress. Well, y'all stay safe, stay well, and thanks for watching.